One of the things that you always get struck with when you're in China is just how much vitality there is in the private sector and how well thought through some of the business plans, some of the strategies are amongst the companies. And I think we saw that a lot again today. Um, so ranging from well-established companies like Tencent or uh, Alibaba, um, when we hear people like Joe Tsai speak, they're still talking about how they are thinking every day about how to improve their business. They're thinking about how to restructure the business to be able to innovate better, how the different parts of the companies can work together better. And these are things which, um, for an incumbent company to still be thinking like that, really shows the vitality uh, of, of, if you will, of the private sector and of, of the kind of uh, competition that they're under that, that really hones them um, makes them makes them better competitors, makes them better companies. So I, I think we saw that in spades. But it's equally true uh, with the startup companies that we're seeing today. I think there are uh, still in China opportunities to build great businesses from the wealth of data that's available to them, maybe not available elsewhere. Um, we are seeing companies like uh, Happy Tech, which is really sort of pulling together the data from many different hospitals and allowing cross comparisons and medical research to take place, which really will uh, create new businesses um, that comes out of the research that they can do. We're, we're seeing in, in China this great vitality, so no matter what the um, difficulties or obstacles might be in terms of geopolitics or, or trade, um, there are these new businesses that are being created, that are being improved uh, every day. And I think that's something that we take away from today's insights.